Brexit is on the screen. Um, I'm Hannah Blythin. I'm the Assembly Member for Delhin in North East Wales. Um, thank you for coming along today. It's great to see such a good turnout. And, you know, it's my pleasure to host this event as sponsor. Um, one of the things that struck me when I first got involved with Pride Cymru about, how, about launching the exhibition here in the Assembly is actually how little I knew about a lot of the icons and allies that are featured and actually how important it is that events like this, that people have a sense of history in our communities and the positive role that LGBT people have played in our communities and in our country. Because I kind of thought back to um, 20 odd years ago when I was growing up in my constituency about the people I had to identify with, whether they were role models, whether they were historical, whether they were cultural. And the only thing I could shamefully wrap my brain to think about was that infamous moment of the Brookside kiss, which I vividly remember being on a school trip back in the day with 40 teenagers crowded around one of those old portable TV screens watching it. So, you know, events like this are incredibly important and I'm proud to be hosting it as one of the first out Assembly members. I often say that we waited so long for some out members of the Welsh Assembly and then three of us turned up at once <laughs> in May. <laughs> uh, jokes aside, I think, you know, visibility is important. Um, you know, people say you can't be what you can't see. And you know, it's important now that young people have those people they can identify with growing up, and I think for me, when I took that decision, I was going to be open and honest about who I was as a politician. I think we have a rep when you stand in public eye responsibility as well. And you know, one of the things that brought it home to me, um, just a couple of months after I was elected, I was at a, a local event and somebody came up to me and they said, I just want you to know, you know what you're doing is great, um, you're a role model to some of these young people. And I was like, oh, a bit taken aback. And they said, um, yeah, because there's two teenage boys that I know. and they're gay and they found out recently on social media that you are and it's made a massive difference to them and the thing that struck me is not actually the compliment they paid me but actually how things have changed for the better since I was their age growing up going to school in the same community but we mustn't you know we mustn't rest we mustn't be complacent we must rest on our laurels and I think for all of us here today and those outside in the, in the country um, we need to make sure that we keep progressing um, the rights and acceptance of LGBT people and you know, with us in the Assembly you have people there who can speak with you, for you with an authentic voice and stand up for the interests of LGBT people across Wales. So I, I said I wouldn't talk for long because we're running behind schedule so as you can tell I've not been a politician for very long because I'm quite good at keeping it concise. <laughs> um, just one, one thing I want to say before I do hand over is just a couple of plugs is we do have a photo opportunity at quarter past one is it at the end and um, was the annual photo opportunity to mark LGBT History Month in the Senate and we also have for the first time um, this afternoon there was an individual members debate um, supported by myself, Jeremy Miles, Adam Price and Susie Davis um, to mark and celebrate LGBT History Month in the Senate and that's on at f approximately 4.30, depending on proceedings, if anybody wants to come and watch it, it's open for anybody to go in the gallery, it's also available online. I think it's really, really important that we actually start to take those steps and make sure this is actually part of the agenda of the Assembly regularly as well. So thank you for coming and I'll hand over. Diolch <laughs>